we got Tom Johnson after the show. Killed it in Chicago. Have a lot of fun. Yeah. How you doing? How you like doing this? Uh, this is the second time we've done this. Uh, yeah. I agree with the thing at the end. Uh, it's a different a lot of fun. I know these guys. We did this year before last. We didn't do it last year. We're doing it for a month and a half this summer. We've only done three shows. Oh, I got a photo. And talking, we talked to your daughter earlier. Your career's kind of taken off. It's going. She's working on it. She's going over there. She's going to work on it. She's going to work on it. And she's been writing a lot. Yeah. Yeah. She's been writing a lot. Your daughter kind of going on your path, you know, you've been through it, you know, how the business can be. We've talked about it at length, uh, believe me. Uh, <laughs> well, right now, I would say the business has changed so much from when I got started in this business. It's wow. crazy. I mean, and it changes and morphs every couple of months. Yeah. 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 Totally different. With the advent of the internet and all that, a lot of record companies didn't embrace the internet as a result of that problem. And then you've got a lot of independent labels coming out, uh, both in R and B, hip hop, soul, excuse me, R and B, hip hop, uh, rock, uh, pop. And Disney got into the scene, and then and, uh, you got Death Jam. You got I can't even remember all the names of it. It's the whole clue about it, but it, it's changed dramatically. And the other thing that's really different is there's so many people trying to get in the same. Every kid wants to be a singer, me, right now. Yeah. And with the ads and things like American Idol, yeah. they get more emphasis to do that because, oh, well, I can do this, man. I can. Yeah, I can. I can do it. I can get up and do that. And uh, I got to be honest with you, I wouldn't want to get up. That's, that is one of the hardest things on the planet to do, is to get up and sing for a, a panel of judges and try to absolutely nail something. Um, not, not a lot of pros go out and do that. That's really hard. But at the same time, <clears throat> it's uh, encouraged not only the kids, but the parents who, who maybe the kid wasn't thinking about it. Yeah. And the parents thinking, you are now. <laughs> Come on. <we're> here. <laughs> but at any rate, it's gotten a lot more, uh, a lot more competitive. And she's going to be open for you a couple of dates this year. She's opening for us. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, we did some regular shows with us too. She's opening for us in Saratoga. She's opening for us in San Diego, Portland. I'm not sure what the other ones are. But anyway. And your parents are kind of embracing her in a way, you know, and I'm sure. Yeah, they really have uh, taken a lot of support. It's basically gets a lot of support from us. Cool. And a lot of another generation may be listening to Doobie Brothers looking at Laura Johnson. So how do you think, you know, maybe you two are helping each other out in a way, <laughs> in a weird way. Whatever works. You know? yeah. uh, if I can help her, which I try to do, and that's that a very positive we can. Um, that's great. And I would really like to see it happen for her. Uh, I'm really happy, especially with another album coming out finally. we got a new one coming out to uh, spread it around to people all day. Yeah, I want to talk to you about the new album. What, what, you know, what are we looking for here? What are the fans are well, <coughs> you'll hear the here. Here, the first song they're putting out, they, they want to go over this so they can grab people who are going to say it's obviously the best song. Whereas a lot of the songs in the album don't come. I wrote some songs on keyboards, which is not what I do. And uh, went to some places and grabbed some people to play on them. Uh, well, we played one on tonight. Yeah, that's a pretty different place to go for this one. And um, it's been a lot. I had a lot of fun doing this album. I had a really good time doing this album. I think everybody did. Was, uh, you know, Pat wrote a lot of songs and stuff that he hasn't done before. He's got one song he did with Willie Nelson, and uh, he's got one rocker on there. He's got some other stuff that you know, like picking style things that maybe he hasn't tried before. And um, it's been interesting. And the crowd's reaction well, obviously. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, you're laughing at me. I gotta tell you, a lot of times you go out there to play new stuff for crowd, they just sit there and look at you. Yeah. Like, yeah. They come to hit the chestnuts, and if you ain't gonna play the chestnuts, I ain't gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they get they, uh, and it's been really great. That started in Alabama, but the song like World on Crazy is kind of like, that's the kind of music. Right. That's right, you know, it's not about the ones, but it's, uh, it's that whole one kind of. Southeast area that, that, you know, I hate to tell you, it's going to go cold with my auntie's name right now, but that's what it's about. And the crowd
crowd is kind of diverse out there. I mean, you got a lot of age groups, and your music is obviously used Well, that's been going on for a while. Yeah. I mean, we're very fortunate in that. Uh, I see people out there that are our age, and that's a weird thing if you're a musician because it's a little Peter Pan gig. Yeah. And you're still thinking, even though you may not be feeling like you're 20, you're still thinking 20 or something. Like <laughs> some my eyes like that. And you're looking at it and going, God, you should be out here, man. It's totally doing that. Probably younger than me. By a and then you've got people in between that, and you've got kids out there, which is awesome. It's great to see the kids out. But uh, we get a lot of support from a lot of really great people, and we're very appreciative of it because God only knows we've been doing this for 40 years, and without those people, we wouldn't be here. So. And look for the new album, definitely in September. Check out Laura's. Name. I believe September 28th is the date I've been told, mm -hmm. and uh, the title is either going to be. Uh, World Sound Crazy, or it's going to be uh, part of the whole so I don't know which one it's going to be. We'll find out. We'll know uh, yeah. pretty quick, actually, but yeah. that's as much as I know right now. And do you have a MySpace? Do you have a MySpace? You know, I had that problem to do that. There is <laughs> my, somebody else is using <laughs> something on MySpace that uses our name, and it, they call them squatters. I don't know the first thing about all that. Yeah. So we have to go and get them off of the site so we can use MySpace. Uh, I got it on their website, which tells us all that you and all that stuff. I think that's what we do at this time. But you can probably get them online, check out the tour dates. We'll be on tour all summer. Yeah, on the website. And thank you for hanging out with us. He's got another interview. My pleasure, man. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming down. Appreciate it.